All right, we're about halfway through our Distillery Wars shootout. We've got two more whiskeys here lined up. Let's get into them. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews. Like I had mentioned, we are about halfway through this Distillery Wars shootout and I have no idea where these whiskeys, which part of the, the bracket these whiskeys are in at this point. They could be both winners, they could be in the losers bracket, they could have both already been double eliminated out of the competition and battling for seventh place. So I really don't know where we're at. We're going to find out as we get into these whiskeys. As I keep mentioning in these videos, if you want to know how this thing's been set up or if you want to check out any of the other videos that I've done leading up to where we are today in this shootout, there will be a playlist linked up here with all the videos attached. So definitely go check that out if you're just catching up with us. But for now, we've got another challenge right in front of us. Let's get into these two whiskeys. Starting with number two. That light fruity nose. A little bit like a light green apple, some kind of like red juicy fruit. Definitely like a big punch of caramel and brown sugar in this right now. A little bit of oak, a little bit of vanilla. Maybe even like the slightest hint of citrus there. Into number three. Hmm, number three is lacking on the nose, honey sweetness. A little bit of breadiness. Slightest hint of vanilla. Hmm, not much going on there. Not really robust on the nose. So, as we always do, let's move on to the taste. Cheers. All right, so, so far, this is another one of those where the nose smells way better than the palate is tasting right now. Doesn't feel incredibly high proof. Feels a little watered down. The nose smells really good. I mean, there's a lot of complexity on the nose, a lot of flavor on the nose. It's just not coming across on the palate. There's flavors there, you just really gotta dig for them. It's just a little thin on the palate, a little bit weak on the flavor in terms of the intensity. Front of the palate, you get a decent amount of flavor, but past that, it kind of flips a little bitter on you. You get some of those oaky tannins, some of that vanilla, but it really stays kind of aggressively bitter through the rest of the palate. So, let's try number three here. I'm gonna get a little water in. All right. And there's notes there on the nose. You just really gotta dig for them and sit there and really just take a, a solid whiff of it. Getting a touch more on the palate now. So, light fruits up front. This one has something similar to what this one has. A little bit bitter on the back end. There's some red fruit in there. Kind of mid palate, you get this kind of Juicy red apple, a little bit of berry. Back of the palate really flips to the bitterness. A little bit of vanilla, definitely those oak tans, a little bit of like leather. A 
one's opening up more on the nose. I'm getting more on the nose now than I did initially. All right, we've got a few of our notes in here. I am going to, as I have been through the rest of these videos, I am going to go through these a bunch more times, do a little bit more side-by-side -side comparison, get some water, just kind of get some more time to marinate with these whiskeys. I don't want to waste all that time with you guys, so I'm going to speed up this portion of the video. I will come back to you with my notes on these two whiskeys and give you my decision on the winner. So we'll be right back. All right, so gone back and forth on these whiskeys a little bit here. If it was based on the nose, number two would definitely win. I mean, number two's got an amazing nose, but that nose doesn't quite deliver on the palate. It's a very easy drinking whiskey, got some decent flavors there, a reasonable amount of complexity. It is a bit thin, a little lacking, a little watered down for me, a little, you know, the intensity just isn't there of those flavors. Complexity is okay. Um, on number three, the nose isn't fantastic right now. Um, it's not, not a lot going on the nose few notes but not much but the palate pops a lot more so a lot more intense flavors a lot more balance a lot more um width breadth of flavors right so this one stays in kind of like the sweet realm with those sweet fruity notes a little bit like the oaky woody notes but not so much you get a lot more spice red fruit and um just other things going on here there's more layers to this whiskey and now I feel like this whiskey might even be a little bit higher in proof than this one, but this one has more intense flavor. This one's got a little bit more of a burn. This one's a little bit easier drinking with a little more intense flavor. So for those reasons, for me today, number three wins this head-to-head -head shootout. So number three, well, I don't even know if it's moving on. This could be the loser's bracket or the, the two battling for seventh place. So I really don't know who's moving on anymore. So anyways, number three is my winner of this challenge. I think it's the better whiskey today. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Did I get this one right? Did I get this one wrong? Want to hear your guys' opinions, definitely. So uh, again, we're gonna be con continuing on with this shootout. We got lots more of this to come. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.